Royal Caribbean's Rhapsody of the Seas allows you to visit some amazing places around the world, and today we have a full look at everything you can see, do, eat, and enjoy while on board Rhapsody of the Seas. We've got a full walkthrough tour of Rhapsody of the Seas up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and when you think of Royal Caribbean, you might be thinking of the giant cruise ships in the world, but Rhapsody to the Seas, while not the biggest, certainly offers plenty to do and some amazing destinations that can take you to some incredible places around the world. Today, I wanted to talk about Rhapsody of the Seas and all about going on a Vision Class ship because these ships are vastly underrepresented in the world of Royal Caribbean, and that's partially on me as well, because there's so many cool ships in the fleet. Now, Rhapsody being a Vision Class ship is still a classic cruise experience, and I wanted to offer a deeper look into the Vision Class as we take a walk around Rhapsody of the Seas. Rhapsody of the Seas is the fifth ship in the Vision Class, so she sails from destinations like Fort Lauderdale, Baltimore, Barcelona, and offers cruises literally around the world. She has a capacity of 2,416 guests, she's 915 feet long, and she has a gross tonnage of 78,491. Something you're going to notice about Rhapsody of the Seas off the bat is these ships were designed with plenty of glass in mind. This leads to panoramic views of the ocean or port with large windows and glass walls all around the ship. When you're on a ship like Rhapsody of the Seas, you're going to have a classic cruise experience. What I mean by that is you're basically going to enjoy everything around you. So with that in mind, let's take a look around Rhapsody of the Sea, starting with the pool deck, decks 9 and 10 midship. And just like any Royal Caribbean cruise ship, there are two decks to the pool deck, the upper deck and the lower deck. There may be a better name for that. I don't know what they are, but I just call them that. Basically, the lower deck has the main pool. This is the main area in which you can enjoy time in the water, as well as plenty of seating around the pool. You're going to find loungers that are available for you. First come, first serve around the pool to enjoy. And the main pool is just big enough for everybody to be able to go in there. And by the way, this includes children as well. There's no age restrictions on who can go in the main pool. You just can't have a diaper on there. So I'm not just talking about kids here. <laughs> just no diapers in the pool. You're also going to find two hot tubs on Rhapsody of the Seas by the main pool. The nice thing about these hot tubs is a lot of people like to go in and out, maybe in the hot tub first, then in the pool, back and forth. And they got great views. You know, this is a great looking pool deck. I love how spread out it is, how much open space there is. And yes, the amazing movie screen that you're going to find right by the pool. A lot of people end up spending time on the pool deck, watching a movie, enjoying some of the fail videos they like to show or the cute videos on there. Eh, it's nice to have that. And whether you're in the hot tub or the pool, that's an option as well. So walking around the pool deck, you're going to find plenty of chairs. And just like any Royal Caribbean cruise ship, there are chairs in the shade, there are chairs out in the sun, and they're on a first come, first serve basis. On sea days especially, the chairs can definitely go quickly. So if you're interested in one, you want to get up there as quickly as possible in the morning. There's also a pool bar on the lower part of the pool deck where you can get your drinks here. You can order drinks individually, or if you have a drink package, you can order them here as well, and that's included with your drink package. Lots of good choices for a pool day drink. My favorite is the Lava Flow with Kraken Rum. It's important to specify the Kraken Rum part of it. It really adds to the flavor of the drink, but you can choose from strawberry daiquiris to mojitos to Bloody Marys if it's in the morning. They've got it all as well. You're also going to find a coffee station nearby. This is complimentary if you'd like to get a cup of coffee. This is really helpful, obviously, in the morning or the afternoon. I mean, I like to get a cup of coffee after taking a nap as well. But this coffee, regular and decaf available for you. And speaking of self-serve, there are also ice cream machines for you to enjoy. The soft-serve ice cream, I think it's actually frozen yogurt, whatever, tastes really good on any day on board Rhapsody of the Seas. Complimentary to do that. And yeah, you can go crazy with that. Kids love going here. In fact, they always ask me about every 10 minutes, can we go back to the, get the ice cream? Sure, why not? You're also going to find the towel station on the pool deck of Rhapsody of the Seas. The towel station is where you can go to, well, borrow a towel. You don't have to pack towels with you on your cruise. Some people think you need to bring towels. No, no, no. They're available for you. Just bring them up here and then trade them out anytime you want. So use them, bring them back. And you can also use your towels, by the way, to take you off the ship for any short cruises you have. Just remember to bring it back because they will charge you a fee at the end of the cruise if you don't bring them back. If you enjoy ping pong, there's a ping pong table here and it's available to use for no additional cost. Moving up to the top of the pool deck, there's more seating here. This seating tends to be a lot less busy, but offers fantastic views and a lot more sun. So if you're looking to sunbathe, this might be the spot for you. And what I like about the upper pool deck is there's more of a breeze up here. So even on the hotter days, with that breeze going and plenty of sunscreen, so it's important, you can really enjoy some time up here. And if you walk all the way forward on this deck, you're also going to find some amazing views in the front of the ship. When your ship is coming into port, leaving, or both, 
you definitely want to be up here this is one of the best spots for sail away because you've just got amazing views there's a lot less of the ship structure around you so i really like coming up here because again you got those sweeping views good breeze chairs available it is in short a great spot for enjoying your ship moving in and when you're on rhapsody of the seas don't forget of course you're there for the scenery and some of the amazing destinations that you can sail to there's also a shuffleboard up here on the upper pool deck in the front so if you want to try that out i perfectly honestly i don't know the rules of it i didn't advise probably googling it before you get on board but it's kind of a fun game a traditional cruise experience now moving to the back of the pool deck you're gonna find the rock climbing wall yes every single royal caribbean cruise ship no matter how big or small has a rock climbing wall it's a feature that royal caribbean added to all of its cruise ships and it's a signature activity quite frankly complimentary to use different tracks to be able to go up and down and challenge yourself to get all the way to the top where you can ring the bell and you know when you're up on the pool deck of rhapsody you know you've just got those views all around just absolutely stunning i love how they've really set this up to be a viewing area you know on some of the bigger ships you're going to find the upper pool deck's kind of a forgotten spot where there's not a whole lot happening or things to do but up there you've got plenty of cool spaces to be able to enjoy the views around you now we're going to share a secret spot that goes down to the solarium from up here that's right it's a cool air little area not a lot of people know about it but you can take an expressway if you will down to the solarium a nice little rhapsody of the seas hidden secret speaking of which now we're gonna head into the solarium which is the adults only enclave on rhapsody of the seas the solarium is reserved for guests who are 16 or older on board and the nice thing about the solarium is not only are there no kids in here there's also enclosed and you've got loungers that have a little more padding to them so we're going to call them upgraded if you will of course there is a pool in the solarium to enjoy the best part of the solarium is it is climate controlled theoretically the roof could open up i don't think they've opened it up in at least a decade or so but it's mostly enclosed all the time but the nice thing about the glass you can see all around you and again perfect temperature inside there's also a hot tub in the solarium so that way you can go there if you prefer and relax now, the nice thing about the solarium for a lot of people is just that it is really a quieter spot on the pool deck the main pool not only is it for everybody i'm not even talking about kids now it's just a little louder you got music in there but the solarium tends to be a little quieter and more relaxed atmosphere there's the solarium cafe which again has drinks for you to enjoy again drink package or not you can order your drinks and there'll be waiters that walk around the ship as well for you to be able to order from whether you're in the solarium or the main pool deck you can look for them flag them down they can bring you a drink to your chair which is my favorite thing to do because sometimes you're taking a nap you're reading a book you're listening to music talking to friends it's nice to be able to have a waiter bring your drink to you it's uh just uh for me sea day activity hanging by the pool having a drink and just enjoying being outdoors you know this is the kind of space where i feel like when you're on a cruise you can forget all your cares also located within the solarium is park cafe park cafe is a complimentary no additional cost grab and go type of restaurant where you can get sandwiches snacks desserts and uh actually one of my favorite things on any royal cruise ship the camel wick sandwich which is a roast beef sandwich on a roll oh it's so good depending on the time of day they are going to also have soups in here pizza it's your go-to snack spot on the pool deck now if you got kids yeah you can go into the solarium to get something from park cafe and then exit your kids can't linger in there but it's totally fine if they want to come in grab a slice of pizza and be on their way next up is the vitality spa and fitness center located on deck nine at the back of the ship the spa is a spot where you can go to relax and enjoy a treatment it is a combination of both spa and salon so we've got facilities for both and of course being in the spa is where you get a massage a facial other things that people do in the spa for certain activities and you know, this obviously all costs extra but a lot of people really like the idea of going to the spa here booking a treatment and then letting all their cares melt away it's about treating yourself and enjoying everything that a splurge at the spa includes there's also a salon if you're looking to get your nails done your hair done guys if you want to get a shave they can do this here manny's petties it's all available in the salon and if you're booking whether the salon or the spa you can do so by booking it in advance via royal Caribbean's website you could wait to book it on board the ship there's almost always spots available but if you're really specific about a time maybe you want to have it done on formal night and you want to make sure that it's exactly the right time so you have enough time to get back to your room and shower and change well then you know you want to book it in advance the, in terms of pricing the pricing tends to be about the same whether you book it before the cruise or you know during the cruise the difference is again being able to get the time that you need you're also going to find a steam room for both men and women on board the rhapsody of the season the spot and that's complimentary moving upstairs let's head up the fitness center this is the gym complimentary as well no additional cost to enjoy the facilities here and the fitness center is all about well i guess getting swole or at least just maybe burning off some of those lava flows i talked about earlier in this video you'll find plenty of fitness machines exercise equipment 
and everything you need, whether you're here for a couple minutes or an hour or even longer every day, one day, I'm not telling anybody if you don't. The fitness center is available for you to use. And again, there's no additional cost with one exception, and that is the fitness classes. You might find yoga or you might find Pilates or spin classes that do cost extra, but otherwise use all the equipment that you're seeing here totally included. All right, moving back outside, let's head up to the Windjammer. That's right, the Windjammer Buffet. It is a staple of any Royal Caribbean cruise ship. And here is where you're going to be able to get meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner served in a buffet salad. It's grab and go. You serve yourself. And depending on the meal, you'll find a variety of different foods to enjoy. Breakfast is pretty much the same every day. Lunch and dinner does vary. And they'll have different themes, different options. You're going to find prepared foods in certain areas as well as cooking stations. These stations specialize in either a type of food or cooking style, and it's made fresh right in front of you. It takes a little bit longer, but man, it is so, so good. When it comes to the Windjammer, what I really like about it is just the sheer variety. Picky eaters are sure to find something to enjoy here. And basically, when I'm here with my family, there is plenty of variety so that everybody can find something to enjoy. And it's basically the go-to spot for a lot of food. And what I like about it also is that it's not just one type of food. It's not just burgers and hot dogs. You might find international foods. You might find, you know, other foods you might usually find at a particular meal. I just like there's a lot of choice. Sometimes you feel like a sandwich. Sometimes you feel like a burger. And sometimes you feel like Indian curry. They got you covered. You're also going to find both complimentary and not complimentary drinks in the Windjammer. There are drink stations available for you to enjoy. These drink stations are included with your cruise fare. Coffees, flavored waters, water, iced tea, hot tea. That's included as well. And I got to say the Windjammer on the Rhapsody of the Seas is really nice. I like how much glass there is, how much you can look around you. It's fantastic for when you're having breakfast in the morning, your ship is pulling into port and you can see all around you. It's absolutely beautiful. So don't miss out on the Windjammer. You know, just because it's a buffet doesn't mean it's not an amazing spot with some really good food. I love the international food. I think it's something that Royal Caribbean does not get enough credit for because it's really good when we're talking about the Windjammer. And so, you know, whether you like hot dogs and typical American fare or you're looking for something a little more than that, I think you're going to find it over in the Windjammer. Well, we talked about food. Let's get more food. We're going to head downstairs to the main dining room. This is another complimentary dining venue included with the cruise fare, the Edelweiss dining room on Rhapsody of the Seas. And if you're singing to yourself or humming to yourself, the sound of music right now. Yeah, I am too. Uh, you've got the main dining room. The main dining room is available in two styles. One is traditional and one is my time dining. Traditional is in which you have the same time every day of your cruise. You have the same table, same table mates, same waiter sign for you it's either usually 5 30 or 8 o'clock the times can vary a little bit depending on the ship you're on but the main dining room is there for you for dinner every night it's open for breakfast every morning and for lunch it's available on sea days only if you have my time dining then it's more like dining at a restaurant back at home where you make a reservation you may not have the same table every time but you're able to vary the times quite a bit there's advantages and disadvantages to both of them but the great thing about the main dining room regardless of the time of whether you do my time or traditional is that there's a lot of food and the menu changes. Now, every day for dinner, you'll find a different dinner menu to select from. For lunch, it also changes. For breakfast, it's the same. But the good news is there's a lot of variety here. In fact, when we're talking about the dinner menu, which I think is what most people eat in the main dining room, you're going to find a selection of items that don't change every day and then find a selection of things that do change every day. So if you really like the escargot or the strip steak or the spaghetti bolognese, which by the way is really amazing. They'll have that every night of your cruise, but then you have some other options that do change quite a bit. And the nice thing about the main dining room and something I really love about it is the fact that it feels special in there. It looks a little nicer than every other dining venue on board the ship. I think it's just a pretty area. And when we go to dinner here, I love having that sense of, you know, dressing up a little bit more and just being able to enjoy a relaxed meal. Now, if you consider yourself a foodie, well, then the chef's table is for you. The chef's table is basically a specialty restaurant in which a carefully crafted meal is made for just the guests that are there. It lasts for many hours. It has many courses and all the food is prepared just for people that are in there. So if you're a foodie, it's a good area for you. Something else you might find right in the entrance of the Edelweiss dining room is a cool area with gifts from different ports that Rhapsody has visited for the first time. Now, usually you'll find these plaques around every Royal Caribbean cruise ship, but some are in harder to find areas. But here on Rhapsody, you can see all the places that Rhapsody's ever been at least once. Every time a cruise ship goes to a new port, a port new to them, I should say, they get a plaque over there. It's kind of neat to be able to check it all out. Next up is the conference center on deck four. The conference center is for group. So if you're not traveling with a group, and what I mean by group is like a group through the Royal Caribbean group department, 
you'll never go here. But if you ever do have a group, this is the space that you can book through the groups department in order to be able to enjoy that. Now let's move into the Centrum. Vision class ships have a Centrum instead of a Royal Promenade or a Royal Esplanade. While Promenade provides a main thoroughfare spanning one or two decks, the Centrum is an open area that spans several decks up the ship. A set of elevators located in the middle of the Centrum and bars and dining venues and lounges are found on the decks overlooking the Centrum area. It's a really neat idea, something that cruise ships really started using in the 90s. And you know what? It's still a classy looking area. I love the fact that you can be on any of these decks and see what's happening all around you. It's just one of those spots on Rhapsody of the Seas that truly makes the ship stand out from others. It's just a really fun spot. You're going to find the R bar on the bottom of the Centrum, and this is a spot to get really any kind of drink you want. You know, originally the R bar concept was a little bit different. They wanted to make it more of a cocktail lounge, but now it's just kind of like, you know, a cover all, if you will, for drinks. And there's usually live music right next to it. So it's a great spot to have an evening cocktail while you're enjoying that live music performances. And there is seating. Seating does go quickly though. So if you want to have a spot for that show, you might want to go there. You're also going to find the internet lounge. I guess we'll call it that. It's a spot where you can borrow a computer able to use online access. Now online access still costs money. You still need an internet package, whether you booked it on your own or you're booking it here. My advice is to just rely on using your own device, like your phone or iPad, which you probably brought on with you instead of using these computers. But if you needed them in a pinch, they're available for you as well. Now, if you're on board Rhapsody of the Seas and would love to book another Royal Caribbean cruise, well, good news, you'll find Next Cruise also in the Centrum area. Next Cruise is where you can, well, book another cruise. The advantage of booking a cruise with Next Cruise is that you're going to get some additional onboard credit and a reduced deposit. If you're sitting at home watching this video, my advice is don't wait, book it now. But if you happen to be on board the ship and thinking, wouldn't it be great to book another cruise on Rhapsody or, or any of the other Royal Caribbean cruise ships in the world? Well, you could do so, and you'll get some extra onboard credit for doing that. The price is the same whether you book online or at Next Cruise. It's just that extra onboard credit that makes the difference. There's also guest services available near the Centrum area as well. Guest services where you can go to really solve any issues or questions you might have. Billing, mechanical, any question, any problem you run into, guest services is probably where you can go to get it taken care of or at least directed to you know figure it out. You're also going to find the Shore Excursion Desk nearby guest services. Shore Excursions is where you can go to, again, if you have any issues or questions about booking a Shore Excursion, they can answer it for you as well. You'll also find the Loyalty Ambassador nearby. The Loyalty Ambassador is the person to speak with if you have any questions about Crown and Anchor Society. So if you want to get someone enrolled in it, you want to make sure your points are right, change your benefits, you can do so by going to the Crown and Anchor Society's desk and speak to the Loyalty Ambassador on board. It's a really good spot. If you're new to cruising and have questions about what your benefits are, they can work it through for you. The photo gallery is also available near the Centrum, and this is where you can go to see all the photos that you may have taken while on board the ship. Every evening, there'll be an opportunity to take photos around the ship, and then a couple hours later, those photos appear here on the walls of the photo gallery. Basically, look around. They're, they're labeled by day and location, and you can find the photos. There's no obligation, by the way, to purchase the photos, but if you like them, you can purchase them. Each photo can run, you know, depending on starting about 20 bucks or so per photo, but if you get a package or some other combo deal, it may bring that per photo price down. The onboard photos are certainly a carryover from the old days of cruising, but a lot of people really do enjoy that opportunity because it's hard to get, you know, really professional photos at not a crazy high cost. You're also going to find Ben and Jerry's in the centrum of Rhapsody of the Seas. This does cost extra to be able to enjoy this ice cream, but there's far more varieties than anywhere else. And you're also going to find Cafe Latitudes, which is kind of like your Cafe Promenade, if you're familiar with that concept from other ships. Here, you can get specialty coffees, free coffee, as well as complimentary snacks throughout the day. Cafe Latitudes is kind of your go-to spot for grabbing something quick to eat as well as coffee on board. If you choose to, you can purchase uh, additional coffees such as you know hot coffees or cold coffees, you know, lattes, espressos. These are available for extra purchase at Cafe Latitudes. And as I mentioned, there is a Ben & Jerry's ice cream. And you might be saying, well, there's free ice cream on the ship. Why would I want Ben & Jerry's? The reason is because they have many more flavors of Ben & Jerry's than they'll ever have in any other venue on board. Plus, you might want a specific flavor, so they've got that there. You're also going to find the art gallery right across from Cafe Latitudes. And the art gallery is basically a preview of the art auctions they'll held later on during the cruise. I'll be honest with you. I don't like the art auctions. I think they're a little flaky. Let's just put it that way. I don't want to go into a huge tangent here. But if you're interested, that you can preview the art here. I just like looking at them while I wait for my coffee. They are pretty. It is art after all. But, you know, in terms of art galleries, might not be a bad idea to kind of, you know, have a whole other discussion on that another day. Centrum shops are also available off the Centrum, and this is basically all the shops on board the Rhapsody of the Seas. There are different shops in which you can purchase merchandise, 
or perhaps liquor or other souvenirs to bring back for your cruise. It's kind of a little mini shopping area that you can find. And depending on your taste and what you want to bring home, maybe it's a ship model, Christmas ornament, a t-shirt, a hat, something else that commemorates your cruise. Well, this is probably where you want to go. The liquor store is available to pick up duty-free liquor while on your cruise. And if you purchase any of the liquor here, you will not be able to take it with you immediately. It'll be delivered to your room on the last night of the cruise. And the duty-free prices here allow you to basically get, you know, liquor at perhaps a discounted rate. It's a good idea to probably research these prices before you get on board to verify it is a good deal. But sometimes there's some really good benefits for purchasing them out here. You're also going to find cigarettes. You're going to find other tobacco products as well as snacks as well. Again, I, I can't speak for the tobacco or the liquor, but when it comes to the snacks, you're better off probably bringing it with you on board. The ship roller company does allow that. Also in the shops is a beauty and makeup store. Solera is going to offer you a variety of things that make you look prettier or smell better, or maybe even both. Who knows? I'm not the world's greatest expert on this stuff, but it does exist and you can purchase it. A very popular store is the merchandise store. This is where you can get all the Royal Caribbean and Rhapsody of the Seas merchandise. So if you want something that says Royal Caribbean, Rhapsody of the Seas, or both, this is probably where you're going to go. A lot of people like getting t-shirts and the hats and the Christmas ornaments, cups. I like the coffee mugs. I'm a big fan of getting coffee mugs. The ship models are also very popular. So if you want to get those, you might be able to pick them up over here. Basically, it's a place to pick up a lot of different knickknacks to commemorate your cruise. You can also pick up some items maybe you forgot to bring on board, like you need an extra polo shirt or a bathing suit. I wouldn't rely on this. Their stock is extremely limited, but occasionally I've needed a new belt or a bathing suit. This is where you can go to pick one up if it's the right kind for you, of course. Because shops on board the Rhapsody of the Seas offers just enough souvenirs, I think, for most folks who are looking to bring something back home, either for themselves or maybe for a family member, like, I went on a cruise and all I got was this shirt. doesn't really say that, but that's what they're going to be thinking when they give it to them. But either way, it's a nice option for a lot of folks who are looking for that souvenir. There's also the jewelry stores on board where you can pick up watches, you know, earrings, pearls, necklaces, all that stuff. If you're interested in picking things up here, this is available to purchase, and they offer different specials and deals throughout the cruise to look for different sales and promotions that the jewelry store will be offering. In addition to all that, that wasn't enough shopping. There's still more shops here on Rhapsody in which you can pick up some designer bags and clothing. So you're going to find a fair amount of shopping in the shopping area. This is something that we like to do maybe on a sea day or in the morning. We're trying to you know burn some time between the next activity. One of the best spots on Rhapsody of the Seas is the Schooner Bar. The Schooner Bar is a signature Royal Caribbean venue. And on the Vision class ships, it's a massive space. It's really large. And it's interesting how on the Vision class ships like Rhapsody, the Schooner Bar is significantly larger than on other newer ships. So clearly Royal Caribbean went in a slightly different direction with ships they built since then. But I love this space. This reminds me the most of really classic old style cruise lounges. And here you'll find a piano player each evening that'll play music that you can sing along to. And in the daytime, they'll have trivia events and different activities in the schooner bar. It's a very popular spot. It's really large. And I just love the seating here in the schooner bar. It's just one of my favorite spots on any Royal Caribbean cruise ship to go to. But on Rhapsody, I really enjoy all the seating that's here because I just think that it, it flows so well. It's got that nautical theme to it. And they've got some fun activities. I really love the piano player at night. So check it out. One of the specialty restaurants you can find on the Rhapsody of the Seas is Giovanni's Table. Giovanni's Table is a Italian restaurant that serves, well, you know, kind of traditional Italian food, right? Lasagnas, pastas, you name it, they got it over here. Giovanni's Table offers dinner every evening of your cruise on some sea days. It may be open for lunch and maybe even embarkation day for lunch as well. But really, most people go here for dinner. There is an additional cost. You pay one cost to go here, so you pay the cover charge, and then all the food is included that you're dining here. And yes, you can order as much of it as you want. I love the pastas. I think really the home run here, underrated, is the filet mignon. The steak is fantastic, even better than chops, which we'll see in a little bit, if you ask my opinion. But some good choices all around. They make the pastas definitely worth trying out. You got the Shall We Dance Lounge, which is another kind of venue that you don't see on the bigger ships. And this is a general purpose, you know, lounge spot that has obviously dancing space. It's got bars, it's got seating. So if you're familiar with other Royal Caribbean newer ships, this might be more like a Star Lounge or even a Bolero to some extent, but it's multi-purpose. They use it for different events throughout the day and it helps offset some of the demand for the schooner bar. But there's a lot of seating back here. And what I like about this is the live musical performances you can find as well as some of the fun game shows that are performed here in the Shall We Dance Lounge. Walking around, you're going to find some great views off the back of the ship. 
you know rhapsody has a lot of great seating and i just love all these nooks and crannies you can find to be able to enjoy the views all around you it's really special now something else you're going to notice if you're coming all the way to the back here is the diamond lounge yeah so if you're a diamond diamond plus or a pinnacle member in royal caribbean's crown and anchor society then you can come to the diamond lounge here on rhapsody of the seas this is a special area reserved just for these members and it's basically reserved seating there's also the diamond concierge who can help you out with any kind of issues you might have during the cruise and in the evening time they'll have hors d'oeuvres and free cocktails to enjoy as well there's also a coffee machine which is really helpful uh, it's available 24 hours a day and if you don't have a drink package then the coffee machine which can make espressos and lattes is a great value and as i mentioned there are hors d'oeuvres in the evening and in the breakfast times they're also going to have some light snacks here for you to enjoy during your cruise again included with your cruise if you're a diamond member or above so you know one of the nice things about royal caribbean is they definitely like to reward their members with loyalty and by giving back with some of these nice benefits but the diamond ambassador is a really important person to speak to so when you're on your cruise stop by the diamond lounge and speak to them say hello they'll introduce themselves to you and you can learn more about the benefits they have there our next specialty restaurant on board the Rhapsody of the Seas is Chops Grill, the signature steakhouse on any Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Chops Grill offers, well, a lot of steak, different cuts of steaks, as well as other foods, shrimp, salmon, a variety of appetizers, some great soups. I love the mushroom soup and some fantastic desserts. You know, Chops Grill has become a staple on every Royal Caribbean cruise ship for a reason, and it's popular with a lot of people. Whether you're talking about Giovanni's or Chops, you can sometimes bring the price down of these specialty restaurants by purchasing a dining package. You can purchase the dining package before your cruise, and essentially, you're paying one fee to eat at multiple restaurants, something to keep in mind. The Broadway Melodies Theater is the main royal theater. It's available on two different decks on Rhapsody. This is, I love the look of this place. You know, this might not be the newest theater in the fleet, but I think it's a really good looking theater. It's really beautiful, rather large. You know, you walk in, you're like, wow, I'm the size of ship. But yeah, they got a full theater in here. You're gonna have Broadway style shows in the evening. You can have comedians live musical performances, magicians. Depending on the evening, there'll be something happening here, I think pretty much every night, and you're gonna have different acts that you can enjoy during your cruise. The entertainment provided in the Royal Theater is complimentary, so you can come in here and enjoy a show every evening, either before or after dinner. And for a lot of folks, this is a big part of the cruise experience, you know? Having a dinner and a show, you can do so in the Broadway Melodies Theater on Rhapsody of the Seas. Next up is Casino Royale. No matter what your casino game is, slots poker blackjack craps it's all available in a casino royale casino royale of course is for adults and allows you to try your hand at gambling a lot of folks enjoy that i enjoy it as well something i've kind of grown into more as i've cruised more often but you know the casino can be fun as long as you gamble responsibly and know what you're doing and understand that there's a huge amount of risk involved if you're okay with all that then the casino can be a fun spot for you to go and try your luck at it hopefully you win some money if not maybe some entertainment for a little while and I mentioned earlier some of those plaques that you can see where Rhapsody has been. It's really incredible to see all these different places that these ships go. You know, oftentimes we think about just purely the itinerary we're on, but Royal Caribbean Cruise, especially a ship like Rhapsody that has been around the world like a number of times, has goes to a lot of different places. And it can be fun to stop by and check them all out. Now let's check out the Promenade deck on Deck 5. This is the deck that wraps around all of Rhapsody of the Seas. And this is a great spot for just getting some fresh air, doing a couple walking laps, not the jogging track per se, but just a walk around lap. You can also come out here while you're coming into port. I mentioned earlier the top deck, I think is my favorite spot for this, but an underappreciated deck might be this one. You'll get the vantage point of height on the promenade deck, but you've got some fantastic views all around you. One of my favorite things to do as a family is after dinner, take a walk here, maybe burn off some of those calories from dinner and enjoy the view, especially the back of the ship. You can walk all the way to the back and enjoy those aft views. It's really pretty and can honestly be mesmerizing in a good way in the sense that you just can't help but stare and enjoy all these views. We're back inside the mid part of the ship in the Centrum area. And of course, you got elevators that'll take you all the way up and down. And these Centrum elevators are glass enclosed, which is really cool. Let's head up to Deck 12 to Izumi, another specialty restaurant, Japanese cuisine. And I think the Izumi here on Rhapsody is the prettiest in the, in the entire Royal Caribbean fleet. This is a sushi restaurant. It also serves some other non-sushi items as well. They have a kitchen in the back that can make things like chicken and whatnot. But primarily, you're coming here for the sushi. And I love Izumi. It's my favorite specialty restaurants. They've always done a great job with it. And it's just a good place to get a lot of different options for you. Again, there's sushi. There's non-sushi options. And it's a specialty restaurant. Unlike Chops and Giovanni's, Izumi is not a cover charge restaurant. Rather, you pay for what you order. So if you order one item, you only pay for one item. If you order 10 items, then you're probably me. And then you're going to pay for 10 items. So it's nice to have 
those varieties. There's no hibachi here, but they do offer a good variety of food, something that I think you can find for most folks, even people that don't eat sushi at all. There's some good options, but I love the views back here. It's located in the Viking Crown Lounge, and I just think that it's a fantastic venue to be able to enjoy the perspective that you have. Speaking of which, let's check out the Viking Crown Lounge, which is another signature area on any Royal Green cruise ship. The Viking Crown Lounge is a almost wraparound lounge. I say almost because Zumi took up part of it, but it allows you to get some wonderful views from inside the ship. So you have to go outside basically and sweat necessarily, but be able to enjoy all the views around you. There's a bar in here to enjoy a cocktail or two while you take in those views, but you can simply come up here and just people watch on the pool deck below, see what's around you in the surrounding scenery. It's a beautiful spot and something that, again, you can find on a ship like Rhapsody of the Seas. And quite frankly, on Rhapsody, you're going to find way more viewing opportunities than you might on some of the newer, bigger ships because that space has been dedicated to some other venues. But here on Rhapsody, you've got a lot. It's a really large venue, and I love the fact that there's this bar here, and I, I think it's a really pretty area. If you're staying in a suite, you'll have access to the Concierge Club, which is the suite lounge for suite guests. I mean, your grand suite or above. Sorry, people that are in your junior suite but you'll have access to this lounge, just like the Diamond Lounge earlier. It's available for your use throughout the day and evening, so open 24 hours. They'll have in the evening hours, complimentary cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. And in the morning, there's also complimentary snacks and light offerings throughout the day as well, usually for just for breakfast and lunch. But basically the Sweet Lounge is a reserved spot for sweet guests to enjoy. And of course, in addition to all the free food and the coffee and all that, you've also got access to the concierge host who's there to assist you with any issues you might have. If you're staying in a suite, you should go to the concierge host first before you go down to guest services because they're your own kind of guest services to deal with any kind of issues or problems you might have while on board. Essentially, this is your enclave for being a sweet guest and being able to enjoy a reserved spot. For a lot of people that stay in a suite, they'll come here in the evening and enjoy the benefits, namely the cocktails and the camaraderie of meeting and talking to other guests. Now, being a family cruise line, Royal Caribbean does offer Adventure Ocean on Rhapsody of the Seas. Adventure Ocean is a complimentary children's programming option available for children between the age of 3 and 17. Adventure Ocean, which you're seeing right now, is for the younger kids. So we're talking about 3-year-olds all the way up until 12 years old. And basically, Adventure Ocean is broken down by age group and allows different programming for kids to do. There's drawing, there's art, there's dancing, there's games. There's a variety of activities. It's all supervised, and it is included with your cruise fare. On the first day of your cruise, it's a good idea to head up to Adventure Ocean and be able to register your kids for that so that way they're all set up to go and ready for it. If you have younger kids, kids between the ages of six months and 36 months old, there is a nursery available on board. Now, the nursery does cost money to use. There's an hourly charge for it. I'm here to tell you as a parent, it's the best money you ever spent on your cruise. It's just so good because it gives you a break from the kids, but it also gives your kids or toddlers an opportunity to play, sleep, nap, eat, and being able to do basically baby stuff, but it frees you up. Again, you'll need to register hours for this, so go up to Adventure Ocean and register them for the nursery or Adventure Ocean proper. There's also the Challengers Video Arcade on Deck 10 Forward. This is a, well, arcade. This does cost extra, and each game has a game per game play charge, and you can try your Guitar Hero or racing games or shooting games or the Claw games. You know, if, if you ask my kids, by the way, don't tell them it's up here, <laughs> but they love coming up here and spending a couple dollars. If it was up to them, they spent a lot more than that, but it's an arcade. Sometimes you just want to give them a little something different to do, and the arcade is available for you to try out while on the uh, Rhapsody of the Seas. There's also the Teen Center on Rhapsody, and the Teen Center is a spot on board the ship. Again, we mentioned that the Adventure Ocean area for the younger kids, but if you've got teens, uh, this is a spot just for them. It's a lounge area that they can go to. It's a little less structured than Adventure Ocean, but it provides them a supervised place they can go to meet other kids and hang out and just chill, I guess is what you're supposed to say, right? So Adventure Ocean encompasses a lot of different ages. Now, of course, we didn't talk about the staterooms, but there are staterooms available throughout the ship in the middle part here. Somewhere in between is where your cabin will be while on Rhapsody of the Seas. Depending on the cabin configuration you have, whether it's an inside room, ocean view, or a balcony, or a suite, you know, there's different setups all around. Here, we've got to look at an inside room, and the beds can be either split apart or put together no matter what kind of room it is. Usually, there is a sitting area. You'll have your own private bathroom. Every single cabin has its own private bathroom, not to worry. Own private television. You're going to have a sitting area, a mirror. So you're going to have all the essentials you need for your stay. Now, if this looks small, it is. This is an inside room, don't forget. But number two, you're here to enjoy all the things on board. Why would you be in your room? For a lot of people, the cabin is where you go to simply sleep, shower, and change. And that's it. You're on your way. So unlike a hotel or resort where you spend a lot of time in your room, on a cruise ship, you really don't unless you want to, of course. But 
for a lot of people, it's just simply a place to go and change. And then they're on their way, going to the places that you're visiting on your cruise ship, enjoying the activities on board, going to dinner or a combination of all those it's available. And again, the cabs, even the smallest ones offer just enough for you to be able to enjoy everything that you'll need. Basically it's essential. All right, let's head back upstairs to the pool deck. And I got to tell you, if you thought the pool deck was pretty before, check out the pool deck at night. It's really nice out here. You know, something I love is going up to the pool deck in the evening, watching the sunset. It's just something I never get tired of. And it's just so beautiful up here. So maybe bring a cocktail, go up to the top deck and enjoy the sun setting. Maybe enjoy the stars overhead. There's usually movies in the evening up here as well. It can be very nice and a great experience. So if you're thinking about booking Rhapsody of the Seas, what you have to remember is what the ship offers and doesn't offer. All too often people watch, you know, the Royal Caribbean TV commercials and they see all these amazing things. And listen, Rhapsody doesn't have, you know, zip lines or water slides or full Broadway shows, but it does have just enough to keep you busy. And I think a great family vacation. And most importantly, it can go to places that other cruise ships can't. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications. That way YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com and we'll talk again real soon.